Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a quarter circles repeating pattern in Illustrator. Before we get started with this video tutorial, let's look and see what it is that we're trying to achieve. This is the kind of pattern that we're going to create in Illustrator and it's a fairly easy pattern to create. And you're going to see how you can create it, how you can drop in a different background for the pattern and how you could re-render it with different colors if you wished. So let's get started. To start, I'm going to create a new document. It's just got a single artboard and it's a thousand points by a thousand points in size. I'm just going to square it up here. I'm going to select D or press the letter D to get the default fill and stroke colors and just hold shift as I drag out a circle. Now I want to remove some of the points here, so I'm going to click on the direct selection tool and click on this point here and just click to remove it. And I want to remove this one too. So I'll just click and remove it. And now I want to join this back in to a shape. So I'm going to click on the pen tool and go and pick up this anchor point just by clicking on it. And I'm going to drag down here to this intersection point and click once and then click again here. And this gives me a shape which should now be able to be filled. We can test it by just clicking here on a fill color and it's filling correctly. I'm going to click here on the stroke and turn the stroke off. So this is the semicircle that is going to be the beginning of our pattern. And if you want to resize it, make sure that you hold shift when you do because you want it to resize in proportion. Now we're going to drag a few versions of this away. So I've got six of them now. And I'm going to click on each in turn. And with the fill color selected here, I'm just going to recolor them. Because this is going to give me a starting point for my design. And now that I've got them recolored, I can start working with them. I'm going to join these two together. So I'm just going to rotate this shape holding shift as I do. So it's rotated in increments of 90 degrees. So they are now joined together. And I'm going to place this one here. I'm just looking for the intersection lines to pop up. That's telling me that it's nicely in position over these two shapes. And I think I'll rotate this one and place it here. So again, I just want to make sure that it's nicely aligned. And if I need to, I can select over both of these shapes. I know that this one was pretty good, so I'm going to reselect it. And now I'm going to adjust the centers of these, vertical aligned center of both, to this shape. I'm going to select both of these and I want to vertically, or horizontally, sorry, align the center to this. Just make sure that they're nicely aligned again. This one wasn't nicely aligned, so let's just make sure that we've got horizontally aligned centers. You just want to make sure that these are just touching but not actually overlapping. Now we're going to create a couple more shapes in our pattern. So when you've got something that is a reasonably good start, let's go and see what it looks like as a pattern. I'm going to select all of these shapes and choose Object, Pattern, Make and click OK. Now what I need to do is to bring these pattern pieces in closer together. I want to close up this gap. So it's a horizontal or a width value. So I'm going to deselect this option here and then start decreasing the width to bring the pieces together. I want to make sure that they're just touching and that they're not overlapping. And this is giving me a look at my pattern. Now, if I'm not 100% happy with it, I can make changes to it right now. So I could take this piece, for example, since it's inside the blue area, it's a part of the pattern, and I could rotate it. So I'm just going to rotate it around holding shift as I do. You can see that that has reworked the pattern slightly. 
and I could do something different up here. For example, let's rotate this to join with this shape here. And at any point, if I'm happy with my pattern, all I need to do is to click Done. Or if I want to save it and continue on and try something a bit different, I can do so. So I'm going to call this version 1. And that's saved, but now we can continue to work on our pattern. So we could come here and perhaps rotate this shape around and try something a little bit different. As I rotate them, I'm holding Shift to make sure that they rotate correctly because I need them to rotate so they butt up against each other nicely. And you can continue to try different pattern options here. This is a different pattern entirely. And if you find another design that you like, click Save a Copy and you can continue. Now I like this pattern but I'm finished up here so I'm just going to click Done because that will also save the last pattern piece that I created. I'm going to select over all of these shapes and move these out of the way for now because I don't need them. I'm going to create a rectangle the size of the artboard which I do using a script and you can find my video on scripting in Illustrator here. It's quite a handy technique to use. I'm going to choose Window and then Layers because I want to see my Layers palette. I want to select on the path I just created and I want to fill it with my pattern. So this is one of my pattern pieces. I'm going to choose Object Transform Scale and Disable Transform Objects because I just want to transform the pattern. And I'm making this one 60% of the original size. Now if I like this pattern then that's fine. We're often on our way. But I can do a few other things to it. For example, I could add a black background behind it. So I'm going to take this path that is a rectangle the size of the artboard. I'm just going to drag it onto this icon here which will create a duplicate of it. And I'm going to fill it with black. So here is the pattern with black behind it. And you can see that it has a very interesting look. But say we liked the overall pattern but we're not sure of the colors. Well that's easily solved too. Let's go and select our pattern swatch and let's go and recolor it. The bottom of the swatches palette I'm going to click here for a new color group and click OK. And now I'm going to click on Edit or Apply Color Group because this allows me to change the colors in this pattern. So I can drag around this slider here to recolor the pattern pieces. And I can also drag down here to get a more subdued palette. And if I drag up, I'm going to get a much brighter palette. So there is a different palette of colors sourced from our original pattern. If I just click OK as I exit out of here, my color group is going to be reset to this new set of colors. So I could start off with one set of colors but end up with a pattern that is an entirely different set of colors just because these colors work better for me. So there's a way of creating an interesting quarter circle pattern in Illustrator. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more of my video tutorials here on my YouTube channel. And consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.